play it, T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood. Uh-huh. Yeah, doing hey, it really, hey. really, doing it really, really, <laughs> really, really, really big. You know, I got a really great guest right here, Latina Bombshell right here, this beautiful. How talented y'all doing? Soul right here. But before I go any further with this talented individual, I want to thank a few people, Latina. If you don't, yeah, um, Ms. Bombshell, ahead. if you don't mind me. The Coleman family, yeah. Big Bud, the naturalist, Miss K, Money Making Miles right there, DJ, Morgan, Swole, Jaden, the whole Coleman family actually holding the community together for quite some time right now, you know, so giving you the opportunity to tell your story, you know, talk about your business, product, good, or service to the world, you know, so big shout to the Coleman family. Big shout to Brother Rolling in the Bean Shop. Uh, Latina Bombshell, you got to get hip to that, but, you know, you're going to have to watch your figure with it. But he got he got the buttermilk pies, the bean pies, the apple pies, the carrot cake, you know, the bean soup, you know, very delicious. And big shout out to Brother Roland, too. He was down here yesterday. He's recovering. He had the COVID. You know, he's recovering. He'll be back in action in no time soon. <laughs> <laughs> it might be too late. Selecta <laughs> Masalam. <laughs> it might be too late. Big shout out to Brother Roland. Big shout out to Will Aleo and Demo Clean LLC. The general contractor. Get hip. He's on the website. Peruse the website. If you got general contracting needs as far as flooring, plum- plumbing, electricity, he can handle that. So big shout out to Demo Clean. LLC. Big shout out to We We Are Care Incredible Years LLC, the mobile daycare. More business. Yeah, more business. That's uh Tracy Kane and them doing it real big with the mobile daycare, picking your children up. You know what I mean? We blinging right now like Michael Jackson on the sidewalk. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, so big shout out to, you know, We Are Care Incredible Years. Yeah, young Amadeus, he got a new he got a new joint out called Overload. You know, he's he's got that African beat music that's real popular right now. You hip to that music? African, Some, sometimes. a little bit, a little yeah, sometime yeah, sometimes. To it. Yeah, they, no, it's a lot of new artists out like Wiz Kid. You know, that's one of them. But you know, that's very Caribbean flavor. Caribbean flavor. Young Am- young Amadeus is right up there with him. Big shout out to Vito Banks. Yeah. He got the new joint out problems. You know, got really dope music. Them are some dope artists. And you know, I got the book. It's up on the website. If you're an artist and you out, you got you got your own intellectual property and you're twiddling your thumbs. You don't know what to do. You're looking for somebody to put you on, where you can put yourself on. You can make tons of tax-free money, unlimited money. You know, with hand-to-hand distribution. So get my book, Learn the Art of Earning Unlimited Money with Hand-to-Hand Distribution. There's a language, a technique, and a discipline you must know and practice in order to be successful out in the streets. And you can't be just like Master P, Player T, or Too Short. You know what I mean? Big shout out to those guys. They paved the way. Yeah, uh, yeah, Latina Bombshell got units too. She pulled up on me with the units too and got the slip covers, er- everything official as a whistle. You know what I'm saying? Official as a whistle. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, straight up and down. And that leads me to right now, like I said at the onset of the show, I got a very dope, talented artist right here. Miss Latina Bombshell. How y'all doing in the house? Now, before we get into your <laughs> set right here, what's the name of this song you're going to do? This one is Netflix and Chill from my album, I Like a Phoenix. Netflix and Chill? Yep. Yeah, so y'all already know. So this going to be the anthem from all you players out there mm-hmm. ready to chill and ne- Netflix and chill. You know what I mean? We all queued up, Eminem? Give it up right now, Latina Bombshell. Yes, thank you. Netflix and chill. I wanna be with you, with you.
All right, we back. Play it, T, that's me. I'm Hollywood in the hood. Yeah. Hollywood in the Doing hood, Doing it really, baby. really big. Yeah, I got that Latina flavor tonight. You know you need this in your life. I needed it in my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> Latina bombshell. How you doing? Thank you. Thank talented, you for very talented singer, <laughs> songwriter, extraordinaire. And we're going to get into it. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's up with it, Miss Latina Bombshell? How's it going, sir? Fantastic. How's it going? Thank now you for having me here. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for coming. 
Now, Latina bombshell. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> first of all, that begs the question, are you from a, a, a Latin country, a Latin area? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm from Puerto Rico originally. Originally from Puerto <laughs> Rico? Yes, uh, parents from Puerto Rico. Is that how they say it over there? Because I always, <laughs> you know, because when I went to Mexico and I was saying Mexico, they'd be like, no, it's Mexico. Uh, Mexico. I mean, I, I am Latina okay. from all around global, but originally Puerto Rico. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's dope. Now, hold, now, let me ask you a question, Latina Bombshell, because it's, it's very talented artists that come from Puerto Rico. You um, know, you had Big Pond in them. You know, y'all remember him. Selena, no, no, um, Selena was Selena is Latina, but she she's Mexican. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she's, no. But I mean, there's a lot of Latinos. Yeah. In the in Cardi the, B. I yes, yeah, Cardi, Cardi B. Cardi B. No, she's, she's a favorite she's, of mine. You she's like Puerto Cardi Rican. B? She's Puto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. No, you're Rican though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you respect her and her talents? Huh? Do you respect her and her talents? Oh, yes, definitely, yeah, I do. When you heard of her, did you turn up like everybody else, any I other did. women I know? I did. You know, because you share you share. I don't dance no more, I make money country moves. Land. You make money moves. <laughs> 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 and we gonna get into the money moves. She ain't front. <laughs> she ain't front. Now, you got a project that's out right now, Like a Phoenix. My first album. Can, can, can you get a close up? My first album just came out last week. Uh, this is the first album that just came out last week? A lot of work, yes. <laughs> wow. A lot of work. So it looks like it's <laughs> about 15 songs to the good. I put a lot of work into this album, you know? So are the tracks, are they uh, industry beats or are these uh, original? Um, s Some are industry beats and some are original. Some are I original mean, and some are industry yes. beats. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a particular <laughs> song that I got, I got hip to a couple songs and you got to Good, pro very good project. Um, yes. um, <laughs> but the song in particular, I got hip to anniversary. I got hip to it. There's two versions to it, uh -huh. and I got hip to it in, in the Spanish version at first. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. Um, I did that anniversary song because it's, it's close to Valentine's Day, so I just wanted to people to listen to my music and also dance dance to it because it's an anniversary. And Spanish is also like. Aniversario. I wrote that song in English and Spanish, but I want, I want different kinds of general people to listen to it in English and then in Spanish. So you wrote <laughs> it basically to foster love and relations and um, good times and good spirits and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. you yourself not celebrating anniversary. anniversary. I, I am. I, I was. I oh. am. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I, I also wrote. I case? also wrote it because I had an anniversary once. <laughs> okay, so that was it was going like that then and it's going like that now. True okay. life, true love. True life, true love. <laughs> oh, that's tough. That's dope. That's spicy. Yeah, I wrote it for myself, but then I thought I I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna sing it for everyone. Now I, I, I look at your your C D cover and it's very interesting. It's, it's sexy. really nice. Yeah, it's sexy. <laughs> you know, you you're you you're very comfortable in your sexuality. Uh yes. Yes. Um I think that my body's an art. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like could say, I could <laughs> second that notion, but then I sound creepy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just say I concur. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm a tattoo model. I've been in magazines, so I'm kind of like, I, I like my work. I like to show it. Okay. It's an it's an art. You got it on your buttocks too. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's about no, he's curious. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> about about how many tattoos you say you got on your body? Mm, man, I I have in my thighs, my legs, behind me, my stomach. Huh? <sighs> I I've probably have like five hundred. Five. That's a lot, right? <laughs> five hundred tats. You get them in, in mag, 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 yes. Tattoo yes. You care to name it, name drop any of them? Man, I came out in 20 magazines. Came out in 20 tat <laughs> magazines? In my past. In your past. But how, how does that go? You'll be at a tat shop and somebody will recognize you. Well, tats some of the magazines I came out were tattoos. Um, some of them were fashion, um, beauty. Um, 
things like that. I came out in one book too, burlesque book. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? How old I was? Ah, good question. I think I was 18. Don't lie. <laughs> you were 18. 19, probably 19. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 you remember what it was? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, actually I can show it. This one right here, the Pauls. The, the Pauls? Yep. Okay, like Eve. <laughs> who, who had it first, you um, or Eve? I, I got this one, little one, just to feel the vibe of the pain. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like everyone should, if you're a tattoo starter, you should start with something small yeah. to get used to the pain. <laughs> did, did your family approve of your tat when you when you, no. when you were young? No, they didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, you and your mom no. had cat fights about uh, it. Well, well, my mom, she said, actually, she don't like the the. <laughs> she don't like. Oh, uh, she don't like the artwork. <laughs> she, she don't like the picture of the album. She said it's too provocative. <laughs> <laughs> too sexy. Well, I guess she feel that way about Lil' Kim, Foxy <laughs> Brown, and all of them. I mean, my mom is like old fashioned. Okay, she she yeah. said maybe just be more. She's the same. Uh, yeah, but this is the industry. Everybody yeah. wants to see a little bit of everything. What about um, the music? Is she a fan of your music? Oh yes, yes, yeah. yeah. She she liked the whole album. <laughs> okay, but okay, you're <laughs> also an entrepreneur. You you oh, yes, you, yes, you yes, make yes. things and create uh, things. I what came first? You. Yes, please. Okay, what came so first though, the music or your entrepreneurial spirit? Uh I don't know if you know, but I am a burlesque burlesque performer. I've heard of that. What is that? It's like Las Vegas dancer. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, I started doing fire. I'm a fire performer, eater, and spitter. Are you any you good didn't at know that? that? No, yeah. I did not oh, know you that. yes. <laughs> I'm good. <Wow. laughs> I have lots of videos on my YouTube uh, about behind the scene doing party shows, events. How long you had you been doing that? Swallowing fire and doing that? Uh, about a good, a good three years. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> How does one get started in something like that? <laughs> I'm a, I, um, I have. I do a lot. I do a lot. <laughs> well, something intrigued you early on about that um, type of thing, you know, that type of lifestyle. That's like a circus yeah. type thing. It's, you know? it's not safe. Don't don't do that it's at not home. <laughs> don't do that at Hold home. Hold on, did you you, <laughs> you didn't have any mishaps any, at um, any time? Did well, you? well, no. When, when I first started, I I was getting burned. I burned my skin, my mouth, my hair, and I'm like, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna be the best I can be with this fire. Mm. <laughs> Now I'm I'm dominating the fire. You're dominating. You can do all kind of tricks yes. and stuff like that. I, I dominate the fire. I control the fire. I don't let the when fire the control me or it? burn me. The last time I did it, um, usually people hire me on starting from October, summertime, October. Now you call that Belarus dancing? I would burlesque. 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 The last show that With I did ESQ. was. Okay. The the last burlesque show I did was a year ago. I'm more into people are more into the fire thing. They hire me more with that. Did you? Yeah. I also do belly dancing, but the people. Now I'm hip to that. I used to, <laughs> when I was in Hawaii. I used to see that a yeah. lot right there. The belly. You were a belly dancer. Yeah, but m the more that I do right now is the fire. People are hip to that. Wow. I mean, to get into that type of lifestyle, like how old were you when you? Started getting into all of this. How, how old? How young were you? Really? Oh, I I was shy. You I was shy. shy. Yes. What brought you uh, out of your shell? Sometimes you just need to stop caring what people think about you because at the end of the day, they're not paying your bills. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Ain't that so the truth? So I really, I really don't care what they think because I still gotta pay my bills at the end of the day, and this is what is. Paying my bills, my talent. Yeah, <laughs> belly dance, burlesque dance. Did your uh -huh. burlesque dancing take you to Vegas? Did it take you to um, Vegas? Um, I did went to Vegas, but uh, it's a lot of work. It's, I just felt like, it's well, too fast. You gotta stay in shape. You gotta stay it's with too the fast. Choreo choreography. It's, it's too fast. It's a fast life. Not used to it. I love Cleveland. Dance <laughs> life. Hold that thought. That I wanna <laughs> revisit that. Hold that thought. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back in a minute with Latina Bombshell. <laughs>
Yeah, all right, we back. Play T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood. Latina bombshell in the yeah, house. How's y'all doing? No, <laughs> doing it really big. Now, you know, I want to remind you, if you're an independent artist out there, get the book, Learn the Art of Earning Unlimited Money with Hand-to-Hand Distribution. <laughs> Learn the yeah. technique, the language, and the discipline you need to make money off your own intellectual property. You can do it like Master P, Too Short. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. you can do that. And also, if you like what we got going on at Hollywood in the Hood, and we've been putting it down for quite some time, you want to contribute, you want to help, make a financial contribution here at the website. Leave a donation, any amount. It all helps. We really appreciate it. You know, do that as you are on the site right now. We really appreciate it. But like, like I said at the onset of the show, we sitting right here with this talented entrepreneur extraordinaire. Artist right here, Latina Bombshell. Ooh. Straight up, straight up and down, Bombshell. <laughs> Got products and all of that. <laughs> now, you brought some uh-huh. stuff with you right here. Did yes. Um, this is some stuff that you sell. I make things and, and I make, sell them. You so make let's things and you sell them. Let's, let's go start through. with the massage oils. Massage oil. Hold on. Right off the back. Can, can one get a massage from Latina Bombshell? Can what? Can can a person can, can a person get a massage? No, no, I'm inquiring minds want to know. Get a massage yeah, from me, of yeah, course. Can, yeah, they can call you. It's a business, right? Yes, yes. yes I have see? A, I have a Google business. It's called Bombshell Body Massage. You can Google me. Bombshell Body Bombshell Massage. Bombshell Body Massage. Google me and make an appointment. I also do couples. It's real. <laughs> you do, it's real in the field. It's Valentine's uh-huh. Day. Yeah, yes. y'all could do the couples thing, right? Right. Or or, or buy uh, massage oils. So you got <laughs> massage oils that you um, apply. In I your make massage, massage oils for men and and women. This one is for men. It smells just for men, and I have for women different sizes. So when you go to do the massage, it helps you uh, to to. Uh-huh. It makes it a little bit easier to rub on the skin, you know. Yes, the the oil that I make is it has vitamin E, so it's good for dry skin, for hair, face, or whatever. So, oh, oh yeah. W- does it does, it's good. does <laughs> when you go to do the massage? Does do, does it keep the body lubricated so you can? Yes, yes. It, I I tissue? think that the oil makes it works better than lotion. Is that right? Yes. I mean to to um, to get into the making of that. You know, yeah. th- like the herb, dealing with herbs and things of that nature. How long you been at that? It it takes a lot. It takes a lot. It, it a lot of ingredients. You got to stay focused and just start making it. Um, I also make um, this one is um, cuticle oil. Cuticle oil. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I probably do too. You know. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. Y'all need some. <laughs> and <laughs> um, I also do uh, per- uh, perfume, cologne for men. Oh, okay. um, there's a lot of people that don't Let like alcohol. It. That one is uh, for men. I'm gonna let y'all know. I <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people do. Yes, a lot. A lot of people don't like that alcohol because it, it it keeps your skin dry. So oil, it's a lot better, healthier. I want to smell like nature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There you go. Oh. Um, I also do candles. I just brought a few candles. This is my, um, uh, I, I created it. You created all that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I made, I made all that decorated. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, this it looks real. real. Yeah. Eat it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to when I first <laughs> seen it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is it decorative or can you light it? Um, y- usually people, when they buy candles from me, because I make more, I make like big ones. Um, either they can decorate it as a gift for somebody or just burn it. Right. But most likely people like just the decoration. Okay. So beautiful. So they can light it. <laughs> yeah. I have okay. another one here. This one is a rose. And I, I add glitter in it. Okay, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all getting some ideas out there for your hot. We bought the store in it right now. You know what I'm saying? And, Straight um, up and down. I couldn't bring the rest of my candles because they're big. I make big ones. Yeah, um, big Coca-Cola candy. ones, Fruit Loop, ice cream, uh, milkshakes, coffee. Okay. Yeah. Um, and they look realistic, and they smell just like what you see. What else you got? What <laughs> else you got? Uh, these 
these are, are my therapeutic soaps. Um, okay. They're made out of mental. Out of mental? How do you say that in English? Me uh, mental. mental. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I said in Spanish, sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's made out of mental. Okay. Um, I have a different color right here, made out of menthol. I said it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And so what's the significance of menthol in itself? Because um, I never heard of that. You know. Well, the thing is that it helps with your body aching pain. Okay. Yeah, and um, also the massage thing helps also with your pain when you like scrub it around the pain area you have. Yeah, I was gonna ask what's with the design of the soap. It's it's a therapeutic soap. Therapeutic the thera soap. Therapeutic soap for your pain, pain relief. I also do CBD products. CBD so product. <laughs> yeah, what y'all know? Y'all be that? hearing all about that on what the radio know all about the time. That? <laughs> so this is my muscle relaxer with CBD. Muscle re muscle relaxer with CBD. Yes, and that one is that one is my number one seller. The soaps are my number one sellers too. Um, it helps with pain, and it helps, uh, you know, you know what CBD does. It helps you with pain. Are you uh, a herbalist? Hey, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I could be whatever you want me to be. Are you Are you <laughs> into the herbs? <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you into the whole <laughs> herbal thing, though? Do you, um, like, take herbal teas? and? Um, I, I sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> yes, right yes. It, it's, it's a lot of mess in the kitchen that I got to do to make that. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Um, I also have this one over here. It's a different product. This one is edible. Edible. And for your pleasure. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the coconut, so. <laughs> coconut oil, CBD. I got some. I, I have a lot of people. Yeah. No, but I don't. No, I don't have this because this is that CBD. Well, guess what? That one does everything. You can shave your face with that. For you can put it in. Because you can eat it for your pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I know what I mean. I can hear you. <laughs> for your I'm sure. This is also for pleasure. Okay, yeah. For yeah. your woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See that, fellas? <laughs> hear from a player Mas right here. <laughs> Ma <laughs> massage. You can use that for massage. Yeah. For shaving, for dry skin, for the feet, for the hair, anything. So That's my number one seller, too. That's your number one seller, too? The, this and that one and the soaps. Yeah, I bet. I'm willing to bet. You got other stuff here, too. <laughs> I have sugar scrubs. Sh uh, are you familiar with sugar scrubs? No, I'm this not. This one is my coffee. Sugar scrub is good for acne for your face, for body. Um, sugar scrub. Sugar scrubs. So I is make that sugar scrubs. Real sugar? Brown, what's that? Brown uh -huh, sugar? Uh-huh, with coffee. Brown sugar and coffee. Made with coffee. And you apply it to your face and you cleanse your face? Yes. You know what? That's the... I seen something like that at Beachwood, but they charge like seventy five dollars for it. You know um, what I'm saying? For, for something Actually, like 150, this Actually, one hundred fifty. Excuse me. Yeah. For something like this. Yeah, one fifty. Homemade. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's homemade, but oh. it's a facial scrub. Oh, wow. It's made with Himalayan Himalayan salt and uh -huh. different things. Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. This is uh, it has a lot of ingredients. Let me see that. It's not easy to make, especially if it's homemade. I bet you this is a great seller too. Uh, yes, my coffee one is my number one seller, but I also make it with peppermint. Wait a minute, but how did you know to mix these ingredients to cleanse your face? I, I study. I you study. You're I a student did. of. I'm a study of YouTube. Okay. You went yes. to Harder Harder I went to how you Culture. I graduated. <laughs> how you say it? The, am I saying it right, Kim? <laughs> Harder Culture. The, are you into that Harder Culture? Uh, how to culture? You, you know, plants <laughs> and uh, people, the study of plants and people. You know what? My my great great grandma used to make red meat out of her backyard. Okay, so the so I maybe, was there. Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe that's how when you got the, uh, uh, the probably bed probably because I I do things that I don't ev even realize what I did, and it came out to be a good product. Yeah, yeah, because I wouldn't have ne never known coffee and sugar would cleanse the body. Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you apply it? Do you apply some of yourself? Oh, yeah. This is your secret? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, we get into the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> we get into the secrets. <laughs> you know what? Well, that's uh, dope. Then now you we're going to the lip glosses. I also make uh, CBD lip glosses. CBD lip gloss. Look how cute. Wow. And I decorated. Yeah. This one has diamonds. Wow. And, you know, I make the lip gloss, too. It takes time. Wow. I, I, 
I sit down in my in living room and watch Netflix and, and chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and just start mixing things. Okay. Trying to make my lip gloss. And, yeah, and, and you stay <laughs> busy. Yes. Stay <laughs> real busy. How do you mm-hmm. find the time? You're in the studio recording music and I making am, products. I don't know if you know, but I'm a seamstress. You, you see, there's no <laughs> excuse for all you lazy people out there. <laughs> there's no excuse. There's no excuse. I didn't bring anything because uh, it's too much to bring for the show, but I'm a seamstress. I sit down and I sew hats. Um, I Christmas hats, too. Um, sports. You uh, make one-of-ones and stuff like that. I make Yeah, I make sports, superheroes, um, cartoons. Um, I make keychain lanyards. I, I sit down in my machine and then I, I just sew. So that begs the question, do you, do you work the 9 to 5, too? Every day. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we doing it all. I, I make ties too. You make ties too. Yep. My last tie I sold so was the Browns. So you're seamstress and you make ties. So we are gonna yeah. have to keep the Talk. connect though. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you got a lot of product. Mm-hmm. Well, do do you got a support team? Uh. Or are you doing all this stuff by yourself? Yeah. Wow. I I tried. You know. How do you? Uh, I do I you make know? chocolates too. You make chocolates too. It, yeah. <laughs> so how do you keep yourself from running ragged? Uh, um, I I think I'm ADHD. Um, hyperactive. Hy- uh, hyperactive. Uh, yeah, I think I am, people. but I just can't sit around. I gotta make something. Can't sit around. You got yeah. children? Uh, um, yeah. Just yeah. I have children. Okay. Well, but I I I keep my my children away from the spotlight. Yes, cause it's personal. I can dig that. Yeah. How many you got there? How many children you got? Um, I, I have two. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Go <laughs> ahead. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. To balance motherhood, employment, mm-hmm. being an entrepreneur, being an yeah. artist, you know. I work out. And you, you obviously. <laughs> hold on. Do you get up like at four in the morning? They say people that's successful and got a lot of things going on wake up at around four, wake up, four thirty wake up, in the morning. Wake up. <laughs> is is that true with you? Um, I I when I wake up I because you work you working out you got the children you making products mm-hmm. so you're well, not getting uh, up at noon. My children, 11:30. my children are not children; they're teenagers now. Well, I wouldn't have never guessed that. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I woke up like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do they support you in your endeavors? Um, yeah, yeah, but. It's hard to keep up with all this. It's it's hard f- for my you know teenagers <laughs> to to even try to make things with me because. So hold on, do you have a lot of patience for your children? Because you're doing oh all yeah, this, yeah. you know, and uh, you probably don't let them lay in the bed for too long. Uh, my mom helps me. Oh, your mom, <laughs> he- your mom yeah. help you. Are you like that though with your children? Mm-hmm. Are you like, uh, are you encouraging that? Because you don't like to sit around. So are you are you? Uh, lending that message to your children? Mm-hmm, yes, of course. Yeah, they're encouraging gonna work hard to work hard. In yeah, nothing is free. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. they know they have to work. Yeah, they they like your music too and respect your music yes. and support you. Yes, in music. yes. Yeah. I don't know if they saw the front cover. I try to hide it. No, nah, they saw it. They saw it, did they? Ah, sneaky! <laughs> they sneaky. Yeah. How, how long? How long this project been out? <sighs> Last week. I had. I I had another baby. <laughs> so hold on, was the pi- were the pictures before or after the baby? <laughs> no no no, that picture is now no. Uh this picture now. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. I just I j- my hair we is different. Popping them up and popping right back. <laughs> my hair is different. We popping right back on them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we uh, popped them out <laughs> and then we pop right back on them. We came with that comeback. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I, I I still look like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where you I work out at? Like Planet Fitness. Uh, Planet Fitness. Uh, at the house, outside, jog at the park, anywhere. Just don't forget to pump. Why, pump. why, why not a Cavs girl? <laughs> huh? Why not a Cavs girl? You got all the um, experience. Cavs girl. Well, I I. Tr- Have you ever even thought about it? Oh, I cannot even do the split. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
That's what they do. <laughs> I mean, I can do the fire, but I don't think they're interested in that. Uh, <laughs> so you can do the fire, but you ain't interested in all that other stuff. No, <laughs> flipping and, and uh. Have you ever been um, hired to perform somewhere crazy? Um, concerts? Yeah, they. That's crazy. Um, I have people that they got too close to me, and I'm blowing fire and i'm just like do you know what i'm doing you need to like step a step away i had people that they tried to tip me throwing money and i'm like i'm gonna burn that money <laughs> just wait until <laughs> after the show after i'm done and then you guys can get closer and i can take pictures because i after i'm done with the fire show I, they can take pictures with me well i, I like fire <laughs> i like fire too latina bombshell but i used to do it different we used to take the road spray and spray oh our, my spray God, our, spray no. our names on the walls <laughs> and the projects and light them up. Watch oh, your no, name no, light no, up no, in no. cursive at night. You know what I'm saying? And That's then and then people fart. Yeah, gra do gra <laughs> we used to, no for real, DJ. We used to do graffiti on the walls and road spray at night and light it up. Children, don't try this at home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and they they had the challenge. What it was it? The mouth on the challenge. They had that in in Facebook and Instagram. But people were getting their eyelashes and, and eyebrows burned. You don't be downtown with your act. Um, I had done downtown. Yeah. We're probably right in front of that, you know, the visit, visit CLE. Uh, I yeah, all right, we back. Play a T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood. Doing it really, really big. Yeah, you know, reminding you, you know, go ahead and make that financial contribution. You know, help us out, help us keep the lights on, help us continue to be a platform for everyday people and celebrities, you know, to tell their story to the world. So go ahead and make the financial contribution. We, we really, really appreciate that you know yeah and go 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 ahead and download that hot new music by Vito Banks problems and overload by young Amadeus right. you know go ahead and if you got general contracting needs as far as plumbing electrical or flooring then you want to get with you know demo demo clean LLC and if you need a daycare you need daycare services you're working you need somebody to 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 daycare with, there's a mobile daycare that'll come pick up your children, you know, and, and watch them and teach them until you can catch back up with them. And that's uh, We Are Care Incredible Years LLC. So give it them. But right now, like I said at the onset of the show, and if you're just now getting with us, we got this very talented, beautiful entrepreneur slash talented singer songwriter right here with us right now yeah. she got like a phoenix out right now in the digital stores she's gonna close the show out with us with a with a with a anniversary hot song anniversary now if somebody wanted to patronize you and patronize your, your product business first mm -hmm. and get products from you how can they get in touch with you um they can uh find me on facebook instagram latina bombshell and subscribe my youtube channel latina bombshell now your music, it, I, I just set up and shared it in the digital stores. Tell me I'm right. Yeah, my music is every every platform. Okay, bet that. So go but, ahead and get the. But music. if you want the album signed by me, you gotta come through me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a personally autograph. <laughs> you know that's dope. Now, um, shout some of the people out that did their original music. Um, I want to shout out Tommy, um, t t Timothy. Um, everybody that helped me, Do Doc Holiday that helped me with my album, um, Big Stove, uh, the artwork. Oh, Big um, Stove did your artwork? It, it, yeah. <laughs> wow. He's Big in Stove. Miami right now. Oh, he is? Big but he, he did my logo. How did you hook up with Big Stove? Um, we were friends here. Um, I needed a logo when I started, and they referred me to him. And he ever since, he's been doing my logos and everything that I need that I asked for. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, any more people you want to shout out on that project? Um, oh yeah, um, my music advisor, Dice. Uh, um, yeah, Dice. A um, lot, a lot of people. <laughs> ah, who else? Well, <laughs> I, I know you got to get out of here, Latina Bombshell. Yeah, but it's before Friday. you close the show out <laughs> and do anniversary, <laughs> you know, you got some young, talented people. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe from over there where you're from. Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and um, 
they just don't know what to do. They're at a crossroads. They're very talented. Give them something to hang their hats on to where they can feel good about themselves and make something out of themselves like you have thus far. Yeah. Um, don't, you know, it's your dream. Don't let go of your dreams. Just fight for it and continue. Be positive, you know. Do what you like to do. Don't give up. That's what it do. That's great advice. We queued up. We about to get into this joint anniversary. Give it up right now for yeah. Latina Bombshell. celebration I, I saw you dancing back there <laughs> yeah i want to thank everybody for tuning in watching this live stream i want to thank latina bombshell for coming thank, on thank make you. sure y'all go to the digital stores and get like a phoenix out right now or through me that or get it right here from <laughs> from the source you know what i mean also get patronize her products she got some really pro great products you could probably catch a massage if you got that bread you know, we ain't playing around. You got to be serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be serious. All right. Play T, that's me, Hollywood, in the hood. <laughs>